Good morning. I thought I would post this video today about um, some things that have just been on my mind. One of the things that I have been doing probably religiously for the last year is um, every morning that I have an opportunity, I get up and I just watch YouTube videos and just kind of looking and learning what's out there and kind of hearing what different people have to say about different topics. I must say in, in this journey, I've learned a lot, but um, I hate to say some of the videos have been just really, really a waste of time. Um, so I skipped through a lot. But what prompted today's video was, uh, I posted a video a couple of days ago uh, on transforming your life or doing things in your life different, reevaluating um, how we live our life, what we do, what we allow to come into our lives and people that are influenced by us and just think topics in general. And I set a day in mind and I was going to try to document what has happened since then or um, things that are just crossing my mind. I wanted to do a faceless video um, diary and I couldn't figure out how I, want, how I could do it and it just seemed stupid to me. Um, some people are champions of it and other people are not. Um, it's, it wasn't working for me. So this is the first in the series of what I'm doing different or what I'm doing since I retired. I retired back in October of 2023 and uh, I'm happy to be retired but one of the things that I know I have to continue to do is to have some source of income um, and I am a very independent person have been for my entire life I do not believe in working for someone else so the first thing that I said I was going to do is to kind of you know regroup kind of consolidate my efforts into, um, you know, something more meaningful. And I just had to point the grandkids out or the great grandkids out because these tend to come in right when I'm in the middle of doing things. So the topic that came to mind today is uh, I've been on eBay, selling on eBay since 1998. And I've seen a lot of transform transformations and things that have changed. Um, some I like, some I do not like. So for me, I wanted to talk about the things that made me cut back on eBay. So in 1998, one of the things that my sister and I love to do, we would get up probably every, every weekend and we would go out thrifting, looking for uh, items that we could resell. Uh, you know, it, it was it's in our DNA. My uncle is a thrifter from way back, and he taught us how to thrift, and we thrift well. Today, I have what's left is a 10 by 20 storage locker filled with things that I've collected over the years, as well as my garage that uh, is filled with. So my mission over the next year is to kind of get rid of that stuff, sell it. A lot of our, I've already given to Goodwill, and the rest that I'm gonna take my time going through it. Um, my storage bill is quite, quite healthy um, because I have everything in the inside. So that's one of the things I'm working on. I wanna get those things out of storage and repurpose that money. So long story short. So why, am I why have I chosen to cut back on eBay? To be honest, it is just the climate of eBay and the fees associated with selling on eBay. They've just gotten out of hand. And when I say they've gotten out of hand, it's like um, you you cannot be profitable on eBay when you're selling small ticket items. And um, the things that I was selling was supposed to be fun stuff. I mean, I'm a big toy collector. I have an overabundance of McDonald's toys still left. So in my mind, McDonald's toys was going to be just something that I put out there to advertise to get people into my shop and um you know if I made a couple of a couple of cents or dollars off of it that was a great thing it was supposed to be fun 
I think the turning point for me was when um, I sold a couple of McDonald's toys and I'm certain I sold them for less than $2. And I had a lady to send me a message, not that she did not get her McDonald's toys. They were um, perfect. I won't say perfect. They were in the condition that I sold them in. I take pictures of most of the things. And her complaint was not that she didn't get her McDonald's toys on time, as promised. It's just that she felt that I should bubble wrap a McDonald's toys that I sold to her for a dollar ninety nine cent. And my initial thing was I was gonna, and I didn't do it, but um, I was gonna have a sheet showing that you know if I sell some for the dollar ninety nine cent. My cost in it was probably 80 cents, thereabouts. So maybe a dollar 20 cents out there. There is 39 cents to uh, run a credit card plus eBay fees of 15%. And I have labels and envelopes. So for somebody who bought something for a dollar 99 cent, she wanted me to bubble wrap it. And you know, no, I didn't do it. And, but what she wanted was for me to give her a discount on a dollar 99 cent item, or she was going to leave negative feedback. That is the second reason that I decided to pull back away from eBay. Not that I don't do it because I still have both of my shops open. One of them is Happy Times Gift, and the other one is. Groovy 61 Vibes. I'll put the names down in the link. But um, the threat of negative feedback. There has has a climate of um, people who try to hold resellers hostage. If you don't do what they say or you don't what, do what they want, they'll leave negative feedback. And I've gone 10, 15 years without negative feedback. And it seems to be the norm. And I just chose that um, for something that's little or nothing, a dollar ninety cent or a dollar ninety nine cent, I will not do that. Uh, it's just a matter of good business practice. Um, it's just it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and this has happened in the last two or three years. You could just show the climate of change. What amazed me was that um, I found people that I knew who totally supported their philosophy. If a reseller didn't give them what they wanted, they were going to threaten negative feedback. Um, it was extortion. And I kind of had a conversation with this person. I said, you know, the person that you're extorting is someone just like me. Why would you do that? And this is a businesswoman who's relatively intelligent, so I thought. And her response was, why not? <laughs> That's the mentality that I don't want to deal with. Um, the third thing is um, I had an eBay shop. Therefore, I paid a monthly fee to eBay to have that store. Plus, I paid their 15% uh, commission or whatever it is. Sometimes it was more. And, you know, on small ticket items, $1.99 cent is one thing. But on a doll that I sold for three or $400, that's a different thing. And although I was willing to give them their 15, 20% because um, I couldn't find the buyer, that, that was okay to me in my mind at that point. And so I went ahead and I paid the fees. But then over the last two or three years, it's like now eBay doesn't even advertise your items or you falling in there recommend or how they present your listings to people. You fall in lower on their list if you, in fact, don't uh, pay an advertising fee. Now, I'm, I'm a number cruncher. Sorry, that's just me. There's no way I'm going to pay your monthly subscription fee plus pay your selling fees and pay you to advertise. So, um that's where I am now. I pretty much, um, I didn't close my stores completely, but I picked the cheapest uh, 
store option that I possibly could find. It's just like $5. And really, I have just been regrouping and rethinking um, my, my eBay strategy. eBay is still a part of my strategy, but right now, um, what I'm paying to advertise and, you know, when, when I sell something, I don't want to hold my breath. Even though I clearly say there are no refunds, ask all the questions. I'll take more pictures for you if you want. Um, you still have people who try. And I just, I don't like it. I don't want to deal with it. And um, I believe in offering good customer service. So if something really, really happened, you know, your package was damaged or, you know, you didn't get it, um, then I, I would try to make it right. A lot of times I would just give a refund, don't send it back, it's done. Um, that's me. And that's me because um, I, can af I can afford to do it. And um, if, you, if, if you're having trouble with your order, I just want to make it right. I do not want to be extorted. I do not want someone to try to um, make me do something um, so that they can feel like they, get, they got over so that's my reason for cutting back. I won't say I left eBay, but that is absolutely my reason for cutting back. Um, I hope that eBay kind of realizes that um, there are people out there who will extort you. Um, I've tried to reach out to them and tell them the, the climate there has just changed. And um, they will not adjust the feedback. No, I shouldn't say that. There have been some really obvious intentions, <laughs> some really obvious things where um, eBay could see that it was extortion. And I'll, I'll give you a quick example. I had a, because I sell, I sell kind of high-end dolls. Um, when I sell something, I will ship it I'll wrap my dolls because all of these are my personal collection, out of my personal collection. So they were my babies. So they've been stored <laughs> away in crates. Um, I love them. I just don't have space for them. So to me, I'm sending my dolls to a new home. And so I wrap them, I pack them well. And a couple of times I've sent some, some dolls like international, which I will not do now without uh, it going through the eBay international shipping program. But I've had times where I've sent dolls. I have a signed uh, receipt. I have a delivery confirmation. And people still say they, they don't have the dolls. And um, that's tragic. My last one was, you know, I live in Florida. I sent the doll to Florida. This person asked. And sometimes you could just get this, like, not cool feeling vibe about people who are really anxious to buy but I shipped a tour and I had a not only a delivery confirmation, I sent a signed receipt. And uh, <laughs> this person, even though the doll was sent signed receipt, of which they signed, they then said that that signature wasn't their signature, although it was their name. Um, and we... <laughs> giving people the benefit of doubt. I contacted the post office and asked them, could they confirm? And they went out and they traced the package and absolutely the package was delivered to this woman, a woman signed for it. She's received several packages so they knew her. And I think that, that, that really just set me back. I didn't lose any money. I did not um, because I had the delivery receipt, signed receipt. Um, confirmation. And I did. I went the extra mile. I contacted the post office and everything. eBay, um, after they held my money, they actually released the money and gave it back to me. But I was a little, I, I was just sad that someone would try to do that. But again, I know that people exist like that. But um, so long story short, what would I tell you about eBay? Initially, it was a great platform. It still is a great platform, but you have to market and mark your items appropriately so that you don't lose money. The whole purpose of selling on platforms like eBay is to make a profit. And if you do not make a profit, then what are you doing this for? 
um, there are so many people I can tell um, either it fell off a truck and you guys know what I mean and they have no money in it or they don't understand that they are losing money on the prices that they're charging um, and it has to be negative money. That's the that that's the best way I see it because you cannot start, un unless you have no money in it and everything that I have I have money in it I keep in it a uh, spreadsheet of what I pay for it how much it costs and at this point I need to start adding in the storage fees because they are in storage and uh, inside storage is not cheap so that's my story in a nutshell. I hope you guys will kind of follow me on this journey because as I think of things and they really, really bother me, I will post uh, on eBay, I mean, on different topics. So right now, um, I'm selling, I uh, still have my two eBay stores. I'm selling, I have my own website. I sell on Macari because of course now Macari has no fees. So uh, ride that train while you can. Um, I have not met as many, uh, shysty people on Macari because once you deliver it, uh, Macari stands by it. Um, the, the delivery receipt, because I use their delivery receipts, except for on my high end dolls. Um, other than that, you know, reselling it's it's in my DNA. I love, 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 love doing it. Uh, and I want to have fun doing it. So I don't want you guys to stop. But I want you to be mindful of what people are doing. And I kind of want to give you some insights on the different things that I'm trying. So for now, peace. Have a great day. And continue your journey.